Hey, best friends. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. You better. Oh, put a thumbs up on this video right now. I'm at uh, Toys R Us slash Babies R Us today, and this is the last day for their trade in your car seat, and you get 25% off. Yeah. 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 Y'all, I done swept my life away getting these things buckled in here. No, yay! Woo, child. You guys look like big kids now. We're stopping for the night. It's been a long day. <sighs> We're in the hotel room now. I look dog tired. Been driving since 10.30ish this morning and lots of stops with kids. Now I've done this trip by myself before and I think honestly it's don't tell my parents, which is by myself and my four kids. Because other people aren't used to traveling with four kids and understanding that you gotta stop so much and not getting irritated. No tea, no shade, you know? But. It's been a rough trip. And it's making me realize that I made the right decision, you know? Because if I were with a person who really cared for me, I wouldn't have to be going through any of this. And you, young lady, who's going through the same thing I'm going through, if you were with somebody who cared for you and about you, you wouldn't be going through the struggle and becoming a stronger person from it. So just know that you're not alone. You know, you are not the first or the last woman to go through this and neither am I but I've been just trying to keep a positive mind all day long and <clears throat> saying little prayers here and there you know for myself because <laughs> I need it but I should be in Virginia tomorrow to get the last of my things that I need to get um, I'm not even in the headspace to even take anything from the house. I don't even know if I even want anything from the house. It's just too many memories and I'd give it all away for free if I knew somebody to give it away to. Thinking about calling the Salvation Army or whatever or just letting him have it all. I don't even care. Like, you can have it all. You know, you got what you wanted. Go live your life. You know? Just leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? Anywho. Go do what you do. And Live your life. And so now I'm in the hotel with all four of my lovely children and go I'm gonna try and get some sleep so that um, I can prepare my mind for tomorrow. What do you want, Izzy? You want the banana? Here. We're eating. We have some waffles, bananas, which Izzy's it's trying to cut with a spoon. Waffles. Syrup for the waffles. The boys had milk. Um, what else? Yogurt and ham and sausage and eggs and. Jojo's over there eating yogurt, looking like a beautiful girl. <laughs> On the road again. Everybody's buckled in, my friends. <sighs> to our, not final destination, but transitioning destination. No, I'm not digging up my nose, okay? That's my nose right now. 
It's Spartacus in there, Papa. On the road again. Driving on the road again. On the road again, just to see my friends on the road again. Just wait. I'm oh, a dad. Did I record in this bathroom or in any other place in this house? <sighs> I'm leaving a lot behind today. I don't feel bad. <sighs> I just had a moment where I realized that I became an object around here. And sometimes we have objects in our home and we're afraid to get rid of them for whatever reason, for whatever memories that they hold. And <sighs> sometimes we just keep objects because we've had them for so long and we don't want to let them go. But we don't treat our objects right, they're just objects. Oh, and that's exactly what I was. Just an object here. Collecting dust, but not no more, honey. Sayonara. I remember when I almost vomited over there taking the trash out <laughs> when my husband was away. It's a lot of good memories that I made with you guys. A lot of good memories that I made with my family members. It all started here, so I have to be thankful for that, right? If it wasn't for this situation, this mess, the pain, I wouldn't have. You guys. I wouldn't have 37,000 family members and best friends pushing me, saying you're gonna be okay next year. Cause right now I just got my mom and my dad, that's all I got, and my kids. And God sent me 37,000 people to root for me. Tell me God ain't possible. Tell me God ain't real. Out of nowhere. Cause I'm a nobody. I mean, I know I'm a somebody. My mama tell me I'm a somebody, but just one small speck on this earth and God chose to give me all of you and I'm thankful so I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna shed no tears 